Alright, uh, so this is a new video and in this uh, video we are going to make a new bottle design and as you can see we have uh, used this reference for our uh, design and uh, to be honest I have uh, made uh, this as a reference as you can see and uh, you can easily uh, put here in the front and if you want to make the obesity maybe larger we can stick for 0.65 and uh, the size will be 5 but we can scale it later uh, so if you want to uh, make it real size now from now uh, you can uh, go to add a circle and uh, this circle will have a um, uh, radius or full diameter of around uh, 0.9 uh, so uh, we can go here and uh, put the radius of 0.09 like uh, this and after that we can scale all our geometry up to the circle so I will scale uh, around 0.4 and make it here to be 0 and let's see what we have uh, me, uh, maybe going uh, there in the direction and uh, let's see what we have so I think this may be better visualization but we will uh, go to be point two uh, or point one three five. All right. So we will stick for point one three two. And uh, after that, maybe going to enable the screen cast case. Uh, so I will search for add-ons, and uh, after that, I will enable the cast case. Uh, to be better uh, to see what we have typed anyway let's get started I will start from the outer shape and uh, maybe starting from a large circle and as usual uh, the radius we will become here and uh, you may notice that our reference isn't centered correctly but we can fix it uh, here and I will extrude sometimes in th this direction and extrude to this area you can see that we have a pattern uh, here and uh, this pattern uh, can be made from uh, shaders uh, later and we can extrude to match or uh, to matches this reference uh, so I will extrude in the z-axis and scale shift z let's extrude another time and I will scale like this and uh, we will uh, stop here so maybe moving in this direction and extrude another time in this view uh, so uh, let's go back and scale down and let's scale it like this anyway we have this one maybe adding two loop cuts here and scale down like this all right let's see what we have there uh, so uh, we have now some area so uh, some details here we will extrude in the z and scale i will scale like this and extrude another time in the z axis and Uh, let's scale uh, down and fill this area we can make edge here another edge is to define the shape much better uh, so we have now the outer shape all this will be an chrome or metal and let's make now the lid the lid isn't uh, so hard but we can duplicate this one and separate by selection and then I will extrude in the z-axis 
and uh, move to this distance and scale down up to this area. Alright, and uh, the lid can be made by extruding scale shift Z and uh, to extrude to this area. And to be honest, we have here four these, uh, so we can make something. We can move to this, and I will select select these four. Uh, so let's select all these vertices and scale in Y by zero. And scale on X like this. Uh, let's see what we have here. Scale on Y by zero and maybe I will delete these vertices and let's extrude in the y direction until we reach uh, this distance which is here and we can now bridge this edge loop and after that we can extrude in the z axis up to this distance and fill all these faces in the same direction uh, let's say fill and like uh, this the other one all right and uh, if we see the reference we haven't any reference more than this but we can define the shape uh, so we can define that we have we have this one uh, so I will go here uh, so uh, to be honest uh, this led has some detail in the top but we can go uh, for searching and find some reference that match our design uh, so we are now here in this view and uh, i think uh, that i have found uh, some uh, uh, close difference uh, close reference for our design this lid we will uh, replicate here but with our uh, design uh, so let's uh, go back and uh, send the item here now maybe we have to make this better like this and after that uh, then Let's select all the surfaces and click Ctrl N T to recalculate normals. And we can start from a circle. This circle will have around maybe 16 vertices. And we can start to go back here and Let's rotate to this area and I will uh, go to scale in Y around 1.7 scale in uh, Y around 1.8 and after that we can go to delete these vertices and
I will isolate the item and uh, fill faces sometimes like this and let's add and after that we can extrude let's move here and I will extrude in the Z axis and Uh, so uh, we can select we are now in the bottom view and I will select all this and insert to this distance and uh, let's go to select from parts and Uh, maybe extruding in this direction we have to select uh, so I will uh, go to select all these surfaces and extrude and scale in this direction all right If we come here, we can see that our lid not the same. We have made a replication. So uh, we can add the smooth shading for this one. And uh, in the modifiers, we will say that we have a subdivision surface of uh, level uh, 2. And uh, let's go to add this uh, So uh, we have here this curve So it can be defined by Selecting the boss here And in the proportional editing We can move like this Uh, so uh, we are here and uh, we uh, want to make the shape uh, much closer to the reference uh, to make this uh, we can the better you uh, or the lower velocity you have you will uh, make it much easier or much easier and uh, be enabling this for now and I will make it a smooth shading also and in the top part extrude Z around 0.9 and extrude Z until you reach this 
may be extruding to this one and uh, extrude another time and fill and if we have added some subdivision surface you will see that you have and this must be more than this all right so personally i don't like the surface uh, which is uh, it didn't make any sense for us and it isn't flat anymore so we can select all the surface make sure that you haven't this you have not selected this one and uh, you can scale in z by zero and make it go in this direction let's see what we have it's not better so in the next part we will uh, start to add materials for our design